I mean, I think ultimately we don't know when you've had the vaccine if it's going to be effective. There is the possibility of an antibody test for some, but my understanding is that the availability of that antibody test does vary from place to place. And the other important thing to know is that there are two different types of antibody test. And in fact, the one that's most routinely available now doesn't look at antibody to the spike protein. And that's the antibody that you would expect to, to appear uh, after you've had a vaccine that is. Uh, you know, the vaccine is using the um, protein for that spike protein. So uh, that's the sort of catch is that you've got to make sure that the right antibody test is done. But I, I think the big caveat to that, though, is if the antibody test is positive, the anti-spike antibody test is positive after the vaccine, you don't know how long it's going to stay positive. And also, you know, how well that correlates with immunity is a little bit uh, open to um, debate, particularly in patients that may have impaired immune system in other ways, but also if it's negative. So if you haven't mounted an anti-spike antibody response, there may be other components of the immune system which are providing some protection, such as T cells, which we can't really readily measure the T cell response after a vaccine. So I'm not saying you shouldn't have an antibody test. Certainly in Oxford, we've got a relatively easy access to antibody tests, and we're quite keen for patients to have an anti-spike antibody test afterwards, but we're very much using those caveats that, um, when we uh, discuss that with patients. It's really sort of for interest to, to, to see, you know, are there patients who are particularly not mounting an antibody uh, response that we can identify? Uh, but whatever happens, uh, you know, we will all still have to obey government guidelines about socially distancing, wearing face masks, et cetera, even after the vaccine, even if there is an antibody response that's detected. That's great. Thank you. And um, just to kind of add to that a little bit, we also do know of some studies that are going on kind of across the UK and wider who are, um, which are going to look at this question specifically. So we know that Public Health England are planning a project to kind of look at people with blood cancer and other immune deficiencies to see how well they respond to the virus. There is a study going on in Germany. Um, run and funded actually by Pfizer to look at how the vaccine works in people who are immune compromised and the very the kind of various other studies up and down the country 